guys and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Draw Your Own Conclusions by Jay Cormier. It is a cooperative drawing game. Similar to games like Eat Poop, You Cat, and Telestrations in which you're going to be drawing things and passing them along, attempting to get people to guess the specific drawing you are doing. But in this one, it's quite different. Every player is going to get a card, something that they're going to need to draw, as well as a card illustrating what they need to draw on specific pads. Every player is going to get one of these pads here, which is going to have the guesser, the category, and of course the answer, and each player is going to use the shape that they get based on the card they have to draw on the board. You can draw up to five of that shape or none of that shape, and it's going to go all the way around the board up until the point in which it's going to come back to you, and you're going to try and have to, or it's going to come back to the player to your left, and they're going to have to try and guess what that picture is based on what what these shapes are and how they've been coordinated by all players. The more players, the more shapes, and the vivid, the more vivid the picture is going to be. Some shapes are obviously better than others for certain drawings, but the fact remains that you still need to uh, make the best drawing possible for players to guess. If they guess incorrectly, they're gonna have to lose one of their lives, and they're gonna have a chance to point at one of these shapes and assume what that is, or, and, and ask what that shape is. Based on who drew it, they're going to then tell them what that shape is, and then you're gonna have another guess up to three players who are able to guess without needing clues are going to score more points and cooperatively that is the most important thing in the game after everybody has figured out what they have uh, got in front of them if they've got it correct you're going to score points and tally them up and uh, hopefully get the best score possible now of course there's rankings and scores and trying to lose lives is not a good thing you want to make sure you lose as little lives as possible in the game draw your own conclusions that's the basic idea of the game i'll take you down below show you what comes in the game as well as how to basically play around without actually playing one and then we'll come up and I'll tell you my review. So here is draw your own conclusions and everything coming in the game. There is going to be eight of these player boards here, which you'll be using to draw on, as well as, of course, this flap, which has a don't look symbol for a reason, because that's where the hidden answer is going to be for that specific guesser. However, you will be writing the answer down at the very beginning. There are the eight different colors here for the eight different players, and they all have different colors as far as the different shapes they'll be drawing. A die, which you'll be using when you get your clue card, and shapes that will be be drafted out to all of the players that they will be drawing. Additionally, these little star things here, everybody's going to get three of them, and whenever they make an incorrect guess, they'll flip one of these guys over, it'll go to the null side, and then they'll have a chance to guess what one of the shape, uh, point one of the shapes, and have somebody tell them what that shape specifically is in the drawing. So for instance, if it's a square, and maybe uh, the the shape or the, the thing was a TV. It may be if that square, I'd say, oh, it's a screen. That's what that is. And that would help them along. So very, very simple how it works. First, you're going to go ahead and shuffle this deck of clues, which is going to have numbers from one through six, and you're going to roll the die. So after everybody gets one of these guys here based on the number of players, and then you're going to roll the die. Five. Everybody's going to look at their number, which is going to be five on the card, and that will be the specific answer that you're going to try and have the person on your left guess. So in this case, this player here would write centaur under their flap, the next person would write skiing, woolly mammoth, stool, wrestlers, and push-ups if we were playing a six-player game. After everybody's done that, they're going to go ahead and make sure they put it here in the answer area, which of course is where the player on their left is going to try and guess. And then they're going to write the guesser's name up here on the top, so when it gets to you, you'll know because it's your name up there and the category of card each of the cards have their own category like this one here says place which means all these things are places you can choose to not use that if you want a more advanced game everybody's got their three little symbols here and of course you're also going to shuffle this deck of shapes up and deal one to each player the shapes are going to be in the form of a triangle a circle an L, an X, a rain droplet, one of these swiggly lines, a rectangle, a moon, and then of course this one here which is a square. Everybody's going to get one of these and on your turn, which is basically after you've drawn and put down on the answer, you're then going to go ahead and place down up to five of your shape on the board. So as an example, for instance, if it was this one here and perhaps it was farm, we rolled a three and I got farm, I would write down, maybe the guesser to my left is Callie, so I'd write down Callie's name up here on the top. I would then also write down that it is a place. So I'd write place here. And C E. And then underneath, I would go ahead and write farm. This is for her to hopefully answer at the end. So I write down farm. Go ahead and 
bear with me here as I'm going to go ahead and do it back running backwards. But now I've got my shape. So maybe my shape is this one here. It's a triangle. This player over here is a circle. Uh, this person over here is an L and Callie's got an X. So after I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and write down up to five triangles in hopes to help Callie uh, guess. And so I'm going to go ahead and say, okay, maybe I want a farmhouse. So I'll go ahead and make a triangle here. And then what else do I want for a farm using triangles? Maybe a smaller place for like the animals or something like that. A couple of them here. And uh, then perhaps this like this here and this like this here. Maybe that would be a kind of a field. After I've done up to five, I'm going to pass it to my right. So it will go this way. And this player here is going to get a chance to draw some circles. And maybe they'll do little circle plots as far as maybe the food or the, the this is like little seeds are being planted. The next person is going to get a pass and it's going to be this L shaped here. And maybe so this person's going to go, okay, I'll do one L here and I will do one L here to make up the farm. And then the same will be done over here. Another L. And then this one, unfortunately, he can only drop to five. So it'll be like that. And then it'll go to Callie and Callie will have the chance to guess. And if she guesses correctly, if she thinks that's a farm, which will be pretty difficult <laughs> because I'm a terrible drawer, but if she does guess it, she's going to go ahead, uh, people will go ahead and say, yes, that's right. And she's going to score based on no guessing. Otherwise, if she's wrong, maybe she just says that that's, I don't know, a uh, village. We'll flip over one of those things and she'll go ahead and point at something. So we'll point at that. And this person here who maybe did this will say roof. And then she'll go ahead and have another guess. And if she gets it wrong again, we'll flip over another one and maybe point at this. And I'll say field. And like, okay, a roof and a field. So it's, it's this is a house and that's a field there and it's a place. Maybe I'll guess farm. And hopefully if she guesses by then, that's going to help. Everybody else will be doing the same thing with all of their own player boards that are being passed. And then the guessing begins. And afterwards, you're going to tally up your score. And the way that works is based on the amount of guesses you guess. So if you're able to not spend as many guesses, you get a higher score. If you spend too many, you get a lower score. And if you spend all three of them, you're wiped out. You did not guess what was needed. And you're going to go ahead and play again. You'll play these in rounds. We also played this live on our live stream. So you can take a look at that. I'll link in the description below. And we also made a competitive variant of it, even though this is a cooperative game, just because we are competitive people. But that's the basic idea for the game. Draw your own conclusions by Jay Cormier. Let's go ahead and come up and I'll give you my review. And that's the idea for draw your own conclusions. It plays similar to things like Telestrations and Eat Poop You Cat, like I was explaining previously. However, it's different because it is a cooperative game of sorts, in which case you're just trying to help other players with your shapes to guess the word that they need to guess based on whoever it is to their right that chose the word based on the random die roll. Uh, for instance, here, another example, this is Grant's being the guesser me so if i was to his right grant would be to my left he would be the guesser the thing is the category is things and then underneath i wrote the word car i had circles so i drew four circles to illustrate wheels the next player has got the triangle so they made windshields and then the l formulated a box around it and then it would go hopefully to grant in which case he would attempt to guess what this is now of course that's not the greatest looking car but that's because what shapes you get will dictate how you're going to be building Building this specific word and everybody can look at the answer except for the person guessing so that's going to obviously help them coordinate with each other and you're gonna to need to formulate strategies because you're not gonna be able to tell people what you're what you're drawing or why they're just gonna figure out oh those are four circles those must be the wheels because this is a car so I'm gonna now help build the chassis or I'm gonna help build the windshields based on the shape that you have you're gonna use that shape to your best advantage and remember you only get to use up to five of them however if you don't see any reason to use your shape maybe the picture is just a miraculous wonderful thing and you're like I don't need to use my shape this should be good enough or uh, in fact maybe you need more of them you have to try and figure out how you want to do certain things in order to help your team because that's the most important part about the game is helping your team coordinate with each other in order to guess cooperatively without spending any of their guest tokens because the more they use the less points you get this is a drawing game and if you don't like drawing games this probably will not situate you to the point where you actually want to check a drawing game out however it is a different style of drawing game so for those of you who do like the games that i previously mentioned this is one i would definitely suggest as well 
all of the pens are very nice. They're colorful. They work pretty well. Uh, somebody said that the pink one was a little light, so they gave me a new one and it was going to come in the base game, but I didn't notice a problem with the pink one, so I guess take that or, or, or leave it. Regardless, though, you can use your own dry erase markers. These are just simply dry erase boards. And all of the shapes they're going to situate you to use with, uh, it gives you a lot of replayability with just basic clue cards. Uh, but these, all these shapes are interesting. Sometimes you get the Wayne Dropper, which is not so great. Other times you might get something like the X, which is going to be a situational. And then the good ones, of course, like the square and the rectangle and the circle. Those can be used quite a bit for most of them. The clues can range from very simple uh, to really complex, like a long jumper, a centaur, a wizard, cooking, hand gliding, poker, dragons, a kayak, a stool, a moose, a shark. So you never know what you're going to get or how you're going to have to draw it. But you would be surprised, based on other people's drawing skills, how well you can actually guess some of these cards. If you like a guessing game, if you like a party game, if you like a drawing game, draw your own conclusions is what I would definitely take a look at. I really enjoyed this game. It played great live. And like I said before, if you want to take a look at the live stream, I would strongly suggest you do so to see us all having a good amount of fun with this game. Uh, and of course, we did do a competitive mode where if you ran out of guesses, you would lose, but people, you would still be able to draw and help other people. The only problem is you could railroad your opponents. But the thing is, if you're going to do that, why even bother playing it? It's just another fun way of doing it. However, it's not the base game. The base game is a cooperative game, and for various reasons, because ours is probably... I don't know. There's probably something wrong with it. <laughs> Regardless, though, I really had a fun time with this one, and if you want to take a look at drawing your own conclusions, go ahead and hit up the link down below in the description and pick up your own copy. I really enjoyed this game, and I think for the most for the most part, most party goers will enjoy it as well. I don't have any negatives really to say about it, other than if it's a game that you don't think you'd be interested in just by the looks of it and the basic style of it, you're probably not going to like it. But otherwise, it's a fun game.